Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all new ESOB 130i Pro. So ESOB came out with this unit. Um, it is a uh, entry level stick welding machine. So in this video today, we're gonna go over its capabilities, um, who would this be, who this would fit in the field out there, and uh, uh, we're gonna weld with it also. So to jump right into it, uh, this unit here, uh, 130, so you're limited to 130 amps, uh, which is which is perfect for uh, basic stick welding, 60, 10, 70, 18, 332, 8 inch, 532. Um, it'll do 110, 220. Comes with an adapter cord. So on the back end, it has the 220 plug, and then you put it into this adapter, and then you can run 110. Comes with your stick electrode holder, which is a pretty nice Tweco style stick electrode holder. Um, very durable in the hand, it feels nice, uh, pretty comfy. They all have the 50 millimeter DINs, so for good current transfer. You get your ground clamp, and that is basically everything you get that comes with this unit. Um, all right, so turn on this unit. So to give you a couple of specs on this thing, if you want to run it on a generator, you're gonna need a 3900 watt generator. So on 220, uh, you can get 130 amps at 25% duty cycle, and then on 110 you get 90 amps at 25% duty cycle. So pretty decent. So on the front of this unit here, you can see, we got our 7018 stick electrode light, and you get just a to toggle down, 6010, and then this thing does have the TIG option on it, and this is for your control for your TIG torch. So um, that is an option that you can add on. It does not come with that, but it does have the capability of TIG welding. Um, so as you can see, we can toggle through all those. Pretty simple, nice clear display. Everything is, uh, you can go up and down. Um, very simple machine. So as you can see, we're at 90 amps. So on 110, uh, it limits you right to 90 amps on the screen. So if we plugged it in as 220, we'd have it at 130. So even though this is an entry level machine, um, there is some pro settings that are featured. So if you sit, if you hold that button down, you got hot start, and arc force, and then we got to get out of it, you just toggle through. So hold that button down again. Hot start, um, that's for your uh, your hot initial start on your stick electrode, and that'll go up to 10, and it'll go down to negative, because sometimes the factory settings could be a little bit too hot for you, so you could turn it down. Uh, arc force is so if you're getting too much dig on your 6010, or you, it, it just controls dig on your stick electrode. And then obviously it times out and it goes right back if you don't push that button. Um, so the price point on this unit is uh, $499, and then you can add a TIG kit later on for $150. Uh, very good unit. So where I see this thing fitting into the field is new beginner welder, um, want to get into the mark, you know, try and at a lower level or lower priced unit, but still have all the functionality. Uh, this is perfect. I see it for contractors that want to get in tight spots or just have something portable. It's 18 pounds and you can run it on a 3900 watt generator. So, I mean, you could plug it into a small generator and get to welding with it. Um, but what we're gonna do, I'll plug this in. We're actually gonna go outside and try this thing out and weld with it. Give it a shot here. Now on this also, you're good for, on the extension cord that you get, comes with or you're gonna buy with it, you can go up to 300 feet on the extension cord which is pretty awesome. So you can get pretty far away from a uh, power supply to get into a couple of spots. So let's head on outside and we'll go weld with it. All right, so we got the unit plugged in here. We're on a 50 foot extension cord. Um, so this unit has what's called power factor correction. So that's why we're allowed to go up to 300 foot of extension cord. I would recommend a good extension cord, um, you know, a 20 amp circuit and a good extension cord. So like a 12 or 14 gauge wire, um, just, to keep that power there if you're gonna go further. So um, we got it at 90 amps, we're on 7018. I got a 330 second electrode, let's give this thing a shot.
held it pretty nice, real nice. Kept that arc there. Super nice, check that out. That thing, that thing was really nice. I mean, so there again, we're at 110, we're at 90 amps. And that's a 332nd electrode 7018. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty now, we saw the 7018 ran awesome, so let's give it a shot here. I'm gonna go down, we're gonna toggle down the 6010. We're gonna come down to 60 amps. I got 332nd, 6010 stick electrode, so we're gonna bring it down to 60 and give that a shot. We're not gonna mess with the hot start or the arc force, we're just gonna run it and see how it does here. electro burns fast what hell a nice arc I didn't have no trouble running that let me give it a chip that slag away there check that out man super nice that's on that 332nd 6010 electrode and an awesome little welder that's um I mean, it carried nice once again. We're still on 110. We're at 60 amps, so came down a little bit. Um, so this 130 is just a part of the Rogue family. So they have the 130, 130 180, and the 200. Um, so this is just one of the options. Um, awesome machine. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more.